You're so heavy. Oh! <laughs> Welcome back to part two of the cat condominium build. But today, our goal is to get up the catwalk, the rope bridge, oh my god, what? and the box house. Is Make it look super gorgeous. Can we paint the room? My room? Yeah, can we paint the room? No, I actually like this color. I feel like I'm in a mental hospital. So let's go do stuff and things. <laughs> Casper. Oh. You want me to build like a platform hole here? Yeah. Okay. I just want him to know that he can get up here. Okay. Well, then we'll make we'll make it happen. No matter. Right now he's like, oh, I can't. Struggling with this thing, yeah. A... No, that doesn't make any sense. She's just making my life a lot harder right now. But it's fine, you know. Wait, which way is the front, man? What do you mean, which way is the front? Okay, geometrically challenged. This way is the front. Cut out uh, the small piece of wood and uh, glued some carpet to it. Alright, so now we have our little cat box house all assembled. It's basically going to go up against the wall like this. And then we're going to drill a hole right in here so we can get through or you can enter from the open side. Emma, can you please explain to me like the directions of this cat box? What's going where? <clears throat> but you just took it off the ground. Alright. Oh, this is actually kind of heavy. Okay, it's going like this. Okay. And what, what side's going to where? This side is going to the wall. Okay. And so is this side. All right, wow, we're actually killing it now, yeah, okay? Yeah. You actually know. Yeah. Crazy. We're gonna put in a uh, little hole here so that Kelsifer can crawl into it and then come out this already open side to Emma's bed. Just you can freehand a perfect circle? Mm -hmm. Actually? Oh, wow. This is a paint can. It's pretty ugly, but it's all cut out. I can't I can't work on wood. I'm a car guy. This is I don't have all the right tools for this. Get that spinning circle thing. What? <laughs> thing that's like shaped like this and it spins like this and then you can use it to shave. A sanding spindle? Sure, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I mean it would have been easier if I'd just gotten a six inch drill bit. Six inch hole drill bit, but uh I didn't want to spend the money on that. It would have given me a much nicer circle than this. Anyway, I gotta go sand this.
on the ceiling. <laughs> well, he'll find a way. I mean, we'll build him something. Now, all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your uh, your width for this. It is three quarters of an inch. We're gonna go half a three quarters of an inch. Move down from three quarter to uh, three eighths, which is going to give us the perfect depth for a screw to go into the top piece of our catwalk. Three eighths. You're just gonna put a little dot there and those are gonna be where all your screws are gonna go and then you're gonna pre-drill them. So we ended up with only five dots. <laughs> I spaced it about five to six inches from each dot. That should give us tons of hold to connect them to our backing plates so that the cat, you know, doesn't fall off it. Now that we have all the nails pulled, uh, we can start putting up the catwalk. We still gotta put it together, but it's gonna go together nice and easy. We're just gonna slap it together like yay. Is that where you're putting the bottom part? Yeah, roughly. Dude, what? how small do you think Elsmer is? Oh, well, no, I'm gonna put it lower, obviously. I'm just marking out this end. Maybe a bit higher than that? Sorry. No, that's where the bottom of the thing's gonna be. So it's gonna come up to probably here before you get to the... Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty okay. Good. What does that mean? Electricity? Why is that thing, like, terrible? Yeah, it's really awful. <laughs> Who ran wires right there? Is your whole wall covered in electricity? Whole wall? Yeah, probably. I just don't know on what height. Well, just start banging. <laughs> you just want me to no, maybe send her electrocute myself or cut power down? Maybe get like a better one of those things. Right now? Right this second? I have to drill here. I'm putting this here. But if you put the rope bridge there, you can skip that section. Uh, there's no stud there either. Maybe like right above the corner of the frame. Was I right? Yeah, you were right. Just going to mark out where the studs are so that we can pre-drill some holes so we don't wreck the wood. Take your level here and go on that screw spot, level it off, and you're just gonna draw a line so that you know what height you want to put all your screws at. Same thing, move it over, find that line again, find level, draw a line. Show would have a heyday. Yes, I know what's going on in this room. Yeah, I, wait, 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 wait. Should I like put my other foot on this chair? This is so oh. sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> Are we safe? Yeah. I'm wearing socks and a metal curvy step ladder. Like, this is the safest thing possible. 
Oh, I started slipping. All right, so there we have it. The first catwalk is now installed. Dude, it holds a, it holds a drill. It's gonna hold your cat no problem. I feel like I'm just like the perfect example of exactly what you should just uh, never do. Catwalk is now finished. Ooh. Ooh. Is that all pencil marks? Uh, yeah, there's some pencil marks up there. You got eraser, like paint. Looks good. You like it? I think someone else is gonna like it. I think Calster's gonna like it, yeah, hopefully. This man, the hour now walking into the construction site. Toss him up there. time uh, to get the rope bridge fully assembled and to put it up so we got a rope bridge here and we just got to take some twine put it through these holes so that we have a loop to uh, attach the stuff here look okay. <laughs> we'll just hold it right here okay that looks so weird he can't he's gonna slip on this there's no purchase so it's gonna have to be like this yeah guys life of an ADHD construction worker or mechanic or whatever trade you're in terrible Awful. Quality of life doesn't exist. Yeah, I know. That's why I was saying if we do it like this. No, no, no. Just flip it. We just flip it? It is more groovy. Okay, get up there and flip it. I'm way up here. My only question is, but like, how is he getting up? <laughs> Just make a shelf that comes out further than the catwalk, like a little, like not widthy, but like long outwards. Oh, and then you can just jump from this shelf up to that shelf up to the top. I see your new shelves. <gasps> I don't know how you're gonna get up here right now. Look. <gasps> Look at them. Oh, that's so cool. Mitty, you think he's gonna try and climb that? No, no. Um, I just want to see what happens. <laughs> I just want to see what happens. I want to peel off every sticker for this. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm here. Okay, come on. Do you want to go? He knows it's not sticky. Can we go? You can go, I promise. I know it's a little shaky right now. Both of them. Okay, great. Yeah. But he does want up there. Yeah. to be teaching you how to be uh, doing stuff without the proper tools. Today we only have a square and a screwdriver as a substitute for a measuring tape and a pencil. Six and a half there and then you're just going to spin it on that point. There you go. There's another six and a half so that's 13. Spin it again. There you go. Another six and a half. That's going to be uh, 19 and a half. And then spin her again for we'll call it 23 and 3 eighths. You can take your screwdriver here. Mark it. Guys, remember, it's always okay to do things sketchy and like not okay, because this is perfect. 
How's the gluing and the yarning going for our little perch? So fun. So fun. So that piece that Emma's wrapping in twine is going to attach to this piece, which is going to attach to the wall you know, here, and then it's going to poke out so that he has a little perch so he can jump all around. <laughs> what do you think? This height? Roughly here? What's the point of the shelf right there? What? No, it's going to stretch up. It's going to go way up. It's because there's going to be a perch up there that he's going to be able to jump to from here. Oh, what's this thing? So that he, he can't can... get anywhere from there. He can get to the perch from here. He can get to the perch from here. No. It's going to be right above set. He's just... Just trust. Well, I How think... is he going to get from here up there? Then don't make gonna... it so high to the bridge as well. Well, the bridge is going to be higher. I think it's just doing a poor job getting it to the proper height. I'm I, short. I thought the bridge was going to be a little above the white shelf. And I thought the perch was going to be short like this so he could jump from here up to it. That's the perch that Emma's wrapping right now. Yeah, but then oh, he's gonna be able to he's gonna be able to walk across this rope bridge. It's gotta be like close to the same height. As what? As the starting point. But it doesn't slope as much. But you said he can walk across that bed. No, pull it up more. Pull it up higher. I'm confused. Yeah, I thought it was going down there. Okay, so then do you want the ugly shelf here? Or do you want it higher? Or no, lower? What not do you want? Higher. Not higher. Oh my goodness. Put it like further that way and then it could jump from it to that side. I'm okay, getting so hungry. So hungry? So hungry. So hungry. Me so hungry. Me so hungry. A pizza go with Tommy. Me so hungry. Me so hungry. Nobody gets that you guys haven't seen community. Okay. <laughs> You're slowly turning it. I think everybody's gonna stop watching us. <laughs> Dude. Yes, because that's louder than the drill we're about to do. Wait, Ben, listen to this. Instrument in Stop doing that and doing ASMR. I created the concept against ASMR. What? I said stop doing it, I'm doing ASMR. Oh. Can I please get a level? Because a level is a very important tool. Well, how does that work? How does the what? How does what work? How's, isn't the level just going to be unlevel? What? <laughs> what did you <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean Isn't by that? Is the level unlevel if it's on an unlevel surface? Yes, but it communicates level. level. It, it This bubble right here. Wait, what? Tommy? Have you ever used... <laughs> it's bibble. <laughs> bibble? What's a bibble? Ready, bibble! <laughs> you the bubble slightly off, and then you wouldn't be able to tell. I drilled it in a battery. Just take the one from the DeWalt. Surprise, surprise, Milwaukee and DeWalt are not compatible. The Benjamin. What? <laughs> what? The yes, I heard you. The light didn't go out. The light. All right, Tesla. <laughs> I don't think that's level. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't think it's level. You better check. Um, I'm Here you go. <laughs> you check the level real quick for me. Go ahead. Check the level. Actually, you know, I think that's level. All right, drill it. She wants a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Anything for calcifer? Anything. Truly anything. D drilling. Okay. He's still drilling. It's stable. Are you trying to break my drill? I'm trying to get it out. Okay, stop that. Stop. Uh, it's not time to play with the drill, it's time to get things done. Jeepers, creepers. Where'd you get those peepers? Cover up them peepers from sun damage with pit viper. Okay, next step. <clears throat> this on the wall, perch on this. First perch on this, then this on wall. Boom bang, boom bang.
but like that's with 120 pounds. Yeah. So I mean, it, it'll hold a cat, I think. It's been like on the very tip. Oh, right here. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe maybe I'll come through with a saw and cut. Yeah, the further away Wait. you are. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like that. Launches through the skin. <laughs> Launches into Emma's bed. Okay. You might get a little trauma, but like... He'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Emma, what are your thoughts on it so far? It looks Do you know how high up you want the cat house? Like, do you want it? Do you want it like higher than this? Well, how's oh. he even gonna get in it? Boom, boom. The bottom of the hole mm -hmm. should be where this is, right? Where this is, yeah, for him to be. Because he's not gonna. It's not gonna be like a. It's, it should be like a little bit of a. A little bit of an up. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I'm just chewing it into your camera. I don't hear what. <laughs> oh, Emma, why, you have the loudest chews and the loudest swallows. Why are you doing it beside my <laughs> beside my mic, man? It's not the ASMR people want or need. You made me draw my pencil too. You've made him a very happy cat. Fucking okay, let me just stare at him. Oh, no, no. You got my voice saying it, didn't you? And I think you've made him a very happy cat. The sincerity just drops. The sincerity is just is never there. Stomach is half off. Is he? <gasps> See? <gasps> Buddy. Come on. Keep it together. Okay, so again, safety precautions because I'm drilling out right next to a wire. Outlet right there. Wire straight up. I need to drill right there. So let's hope I don't hit it. Oh, he sounds excited for his new house. Yes. <gasps> and just there we have it. I'm fully hanging from this. And it ain't pulling down. Nice. Nice and sturdy. Did I blow a fuse? Oh, I didn't. No. Oh, what's that? Do you want to go on your little thing? Okay. Oh. oh, wait, I got you. Okay. Oh, it's shit. Sturdy. Okay, you can turn around though. Yeah. Hi. Look. Oh. Oh, what's in there? Oh, he's going to go on top. Oh, on top, okay. Whoa! Let's go! Tea table. Let's give it some flavor. Just give him a tablecloth as well. The tablecloth won't always be on the table. True, it's only for special occasions. <laughs> <laughs> what, when Kelsper has a girl over? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna give it some life, some emotion, because let's be honest, this pale color is reeking of I bought it at Hobby Lobby to paint. Oh, but look at that. Look how nice that is. Aura. Oh, Emma, can you smell that? I know you like that smell. Did you get too close to the wood?
It looks so much better now that it isn't just this. This is like, I don't know, like it's still cute, but this is just more aesthetic and pleasing. So now, now that we've got it burnt and all, you know, kind of emotioned and withered and can, can I get some emotion? Emotioned, yeah. Can I get some like weathered? Can I get some proper words for this? What would you call this? Weathered. Weathered. Okay, English yeah. major word. Yeah. Worn. Worn and weathered. More English major words. Uh, it's got some character. Sure, sure. Syn synonyms for character. Uh, it's got some sentiment in it, maybe. It's got some sentiment in it. You know, it's got my heart and soul in this box that's going to be Calcifer's little tea table. Some doilies. Some doilies. Oh my goodness. Yeah, actually, we might have to put a doily over this instead of a tablecloth. But we might have to break out tablecloths on, you know, champagne night and cat... What? what are, catnip tea. Catnip tea. We can make them catnip tea. Oh fuck, we can actually do catnip tea. Anyway, we're gonna stain it now, get it looking, you know, a little bit nicer, a little bit better. Uh, make sure the char doesn't come off, you know, on his paws and stuff, because he's an orange cat. All right, now before we stain it, we gotta clean it up real quick so that none of these ashy bits get uh, into our stain. It's stain time. And if you guys decide to stain anything at home, it's important that you go with the grain, not against, because it'll leave a nicer finish when you're done with the stain. So I don't know. It's from the dollar store. How good could it be? <laughs> oh! <laughs> My nan used to. What's that? I don't know. Look, look, look. I've, I've found him a nice little vintage thrifted gift of a nice little chair with a desk on the back, and I think I think he's going to deal with it for now, and then and then oh, possibly. A desk? Uh, it's like a bench with a with a little lip on it. I don't quite know what this is for, but I, I found it at my local, my local it vintage store. It looks like a Catholic pew. It's going it. to be a pew. Okay. Casper is going to pray in his little cubby. Um, but we go and refurbish it at some point, make it look beautiful. But for now, Casper is going to deal with it because because it's vintage and you know it brings brings life and. It's time to Jenny flex. What? It's time to what? Jenny flex. Jenny flex. <laughs> What's the Jenny flag? Genuflect. Genuflect. What does that word like, mean? Ask forgiveness. Is that the right I don't word? even know. I'm not Catholic. I don't know how to hail my Marys. I'll just add this right here as a nice little <laughs> seat in his breakfast nook. Isn't that isn't that quite nice and Wait, quite poetic? Like the position poetic of the billiards. I think it needs Actually, it's fine. So I've done some mining off camera, as uh, the old Minecraft YouTubers would say. And um, honestly, 
this house is looking beautiful. Like, let me just give you a quick tour. Like, it's honestly MTV Cribs up in here for a cat, buddy. He's got his nice little couch area there with some two stuffies so he can, uh, you know, relax with some buddies and watch some good old TV. And then he's got his uh, pool area with a beautiful sign. He's got a nice Mercedes. And then he's got tea time. He's got tea time with his buddies. You know, got a beautiful kitchen table and a nice bench and just a beautiful tea set. I don't know what this guy is doing, but he's doing it right. And now that this is complete, he has almost everything he needs except for one thing, a bathroom. And unfortunately, though his apartment is massive for a cat, he does have to use the downstairs bathroom. He's gotta use the catty potty. But there you are, we are finally complete. We have his upstairs little cat cubby fully finished. We've got a scratching post stripper pole with his nice little perch to help him get into his room, all finished. Beautiful catwalk with underglow. Coming over to a rope bridge, which swings over to yet another perch. Is he a canary? Who knows? That goes into his nice little cat box house. Now we still have to put some padding down for it and we're gonna bring in a hammock so that he can sit and watch the window, but this is finished. We're all done. that I've built this guy a cat dominium, an apartment to live in, and even though he wants to fight me, I think I can officially call myself a cat contractor. You know, what do you think? You like your house? I think he does. I think he likes his new apartment building. It's got lots of features. It's, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. You know, we designed it specifically for him and his needs. So if you need a cat contractor, just give me a call today and I'll build you your very own cat dominium. Leave it free if your cat's cute enough.